Good morning from a bright and sunny Dayton, Ohio. Today is going to be a pretty fun day. We're going to shoot up to Columbus, um, head up to the Reynoldsburg Iona Rechargery, uh, film a video with uh, the Network Architect channel and quite a few other people. I'll uh, list them all here. Super, super cool um, EV creators. And then we're going to swing by the Obetz Ohio Iona Rechargery, which is in the Columbus area as well, um, but a little bit further west. So the Reynoldsburg site is more of kind of a, you know, if you're passing through uh, heading east or going into the city heading west, uh, then it's a great stop. Obetz is, is more of a uh, inner city stop. It's, it's actually closer to the, the center of town, so that'll be fun. Uh, yeah, we got all kinds of stuff with us. We got the, uh, the new camera, the stabilizer. The car is uh, still disgusting. Just finished driving it long distance like a couple of days in a row. Um, still haven't gotten that fixed yet. But overall, I think it's gonna be a, a really fun day. It's uh, nice weather, great sunlight, can't complain. All right, we're gonna go ahead and punch in the Iona station. See if we can get it to figure out where we are and where we're going. 82 miles, one hour and 15 minutes. I'll see you there. Unfortunately, or uh, I guess fortunately for you guys, there's no way to demonstrate this on camera. But uh, for some reason, my HVAC system has been making some really strange, really strange smells. So I'll probably have to order a new filter here, bust open the interior, and uh, place the cabin filter soon. Let me know if you want to see a video on that. Uh, shouldn't be too difficult, but to be honest, I have no idea where the filter even is on a uh, our refreshed Model 3. We are on Interstate 675, headed up to I-70. Our ETA is 10:18, so should be early enough. Uh, I think we're all live streaming at 11 a.m. this morning, so that'll give us about half an hour or so to uh, get set up, get prepared, you know, brush up on uh, all the details and things, and then we'll uh, we'll film. Also, this bottle, pretty nice. Uh, it's got a little UVC, I think, blaster in the cap, and every two hours it goes off and it'll just, you know, hit all of your water with UV. Uh, the idea is to kill all the bacteria in the water bottle, which is super cool. Um, these things are expensive. I would not recommend them at full price, but I picked this one up. Uh, was on clearance at Micro Center for 32 or 34 dollars and for that price it's great I think this is the original bottle so it's got micro USB here which is kind of a bummer uh, it's a little bit of a pain to charge but it only has to charge every two or three weeks and uh, yeah less bacteria on your water highly recommend <laughs>
Reynoldsburg, Ohio, Iona Rechargery. All right, the live stream is complete. I just met a wonderful couple from Illinois with a uh, brand new Model Y, and it is time for us to take off and head to Ometz, Ohio. All right, the rechargery is unfortunately not in the Tesla navigation yet, but we'll just manually punch in the address, and it looks like it is a little bit south of us, not too far, about 15 minutes. So here's the two points for ever traveling through Columbus. We've got Obets on the south, and you've got Reynoldsburg on the uh, east side. All right, we are three minutes away from the Ayana Rechargery at Sheets in Obets, Ohio. I covered this station in its construction phase uh, earlier this year, I wanna say it was this video. And uh, at the time, it looks promising. Uh, I think it was eight stalls with Oh man, let's see if I can remember. I believe it was two NACs and six CCS. We'll see See how good my memory is here in just a minute. <laughs> so I think the thought process here was the Reynoldsburg, Ohio Rechargery would cover the Interstate 70 travelers and the Rechargery here at the Sheets in Obetz, Ohio would be covering the Interstate 270 travelers, which is the uh, bypass highway, that ring road basically, that goes around the city of Columbus. All right, I can't turn the camera around because I'm currently driving, but that is a do not enter. So you cannot actually enter from the left when you exit the highway. You have to come up to the next traffic light, Industrial Center Drive, and then you have to hang on left. Just wait for this car to turn. And then you go down to the very end of the street, and you hang another left. You do not U-turn. <laughs> made that mistake last time. Uh, so we'll go ahead and pull up here. Turn left onto, I believe that is supposed to be Frolic Boulevard, but it's spelled F R O E L I C H. <laughs> and you can either take a left into the front entrance of the sheets, or if you continue down just a little bit farther, there is a entrance on the left, the back of the sheets, and it goes straight to the Iona stations. So let me just take this off the mount, and you can see, boom, there we are. Eight wonderful stalls. All right, we're gonna let the car park itself here. All right, you join me. The Sheets Iona Station in Obetz, Ohio. Uh, I'm just plugging in real quick into Station 4A. Uh, interestingly, they seem to have switched the naming convention of the stations. Uh, at most of the Iona sites that I've been to, the NAX plugs actually start in like you know 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, and then they'll put the CCS ones after. Not a huge deal, but interesting note. Looks like the handshake just completed. So we've got, uh, I don't know how visible that screen is. We're at 71%, just charging up for a little bit while we uh, check out the site. All right, there are eight stalls here, four posts, all of them very clearly marked, as you can see there, all the way down to the end. We'll get there in a minute. Uh, over here, we have what appears to be a transformer. 500 kva um i think this feeds yeah all right so this french transformer 500 kva that feeds the sheets site and then we have this nice no parking sign which is super awesome so hopefully you know people with large trailers or you know semi trucks or something won't come through and block the chargers here we've got uh ev charging signs at every stall nice waste receptacles uh, looks like they have not installed the can't remember the name for it now oh the uh the little squeegees for uh, cleaning off your windshield which is a bummer because this car is filthy definitely needs to be cleaned so i'll probably have to stop by the gas pumps on the other side to get that fixed uh, they have some nice steel bollards here to uh, protect the chargers you can charge two cars at the same time and they've done quite a bit with the landscaping here um, it looks like they closed down this whole site, put in all the construction, dug, dug up the ground, and then put in this, this nice kind of garden looking thing. Um, you've got some, I'm, I'm not a botanist, so uh, you know, don't, don't, don't come here for uh, tips on plants, but some nice bushes, those might be rose bushes, not totally sure. Uh, those look like ferns or something. 
uh, some nice purple plants. I'm not even going to try to guess what those are. <laughs> so looks really nice. Uh, great site. Decent place to walk around. Lots of uh, grassy patches for pets. So if you're uh, you know traveling with your dog or cat or pet parakeet or something, uh, there's a nice place for them to move around and use the restroom. So waste receptacles, every uh, two or so spots. Looks like they're missing one here between CCS2 and 3, but I'm sure that will be coming soon. Uh, this site just opened, I think, seven days ago or maybe six days ago, so it is brand new. Uh, we have the emergency disconnects here, so this one is properly closed, unlike last time I reviewed the Reynoldsburg rechargery. There is an emergency shutoff button here. I believe that is for safety and compliance reasons. And it looks like we have a cap on what appears to be a conduit for lighting. So maybe a canopy? Not totally certain. All right, I love the easy access here. So this is the ADA compliance stall. So it is ground level, but not only that, it's actually wide enough. And uh, you know, it seems like it'd be easy enough to get a wheelchair in here. You might even be able to pull into the side if you needed to reach over on your right for something. So that is really awesome to see. Love that. Location-wise, it's uh, not the best location, but it's far from the worst. Uh, we've got, like I said, very wide parking spaces, ADA compliant stalls, uh, eight bays here, six CCS, two NACS, and in terms of amenities, we've got a Donato's right there. Uh, it's a little bit of a walk, but totally doable. The Sheets itself is open 24-7 with a 24-7 drive through which is very nice. So you always have restroom access, you always have access to, you know, foods, not foods, <laughs> to food, drinks, uh, snacks, that kind of thing. And uh, well, the rest of the area is like a business park, so not a whole lot to do. So here's an interesting conundrum. I was at the Reynoldsburg, Ohio Rechargery this morning, and while it is a full rechargery, a complete Iona rechargery, with 12 stalls, a canopy, a driver's lounge, snacks, an area to work. Unfortunately, it has fewer features than this rechargery at Sheets. Uh, for some reason, they seem to have changed the hours of the lounge, so it is no longer a 24-7 driver's lounge. Uh, they have removed all of the QR codes from the doors and windows and everything. So if in order to get into the building, you have to start a charging session and then scan the QR code on the screen, which is fine. You know, as long as the, as long as these uh, Alpitronics have good screens, which they seem to, their reputation is certainly very high. Um, the problem is you scan the QR code and it doesn't work. Uh, you go through the process of putting in your information. They send you a link to get into it and there are no doors available for unlocking. So the driver's lounge has been closed for, I think, six weeks, almost two months now, something like that. Uh, it's been a long time. And uh, yeah, I don't really know what's going on. There hasn't been much communication from Ayana. I called customer support about it. They were unable to unlock the driver's lounge for me to access. And what's really unfortunate about that is that Ayana station uh, really doesn't have much of anything around. Uh, it was a converted compressed natural gas station. Very cool site. Uh, but without the driver's lounge, there aren't really restrooms unless you want to walk about half a mile, maybe a quarter mile down the road to a Waffle House. And other than that, there's basically nothing. It's like a five or a six lane road, so you can't really, there's nowhere for pedestrians to cross. Um, and then there's a car wash on the other side. So between the two, I think in the near future, I'll probably be stopping at the Obetz Ohio Charger more often than the Reynoldsburg site, since I have much easier access to restrooms, food, snacks, that kind of thing. Uh, I do I do like they are you know blanketing as much of the country as they can as fast as they can with these high powered charging sites with many many stalls it's uh, it's an important factor for EV adoption you know you, you have to give people options that they can that they can see because while Electrify America and Tesla may have tons and tons of sites across the country what they don't necessarily have is easy visibility right when you have a, uh, a, a teal and orange charger with a giant canopy over it that says Ayana on it, it's, it's pretty hard to miss.
right, thank you for joining me on this adventure to Columbus, Ohio, to swing by the Reynoldsburg Rechargery and uh, check out the Obetz Ohio Rechargery, the brand new one, six, only seven days open, but great amenities, great location. I hope to see a canopy here. I didn't see any evidence of a canopy. I didn't see anything in the ground to indicate that they might uh, be adding a canopy. There's no stickers saying there's a canopy coming soon, but I really, really hope there's gonna be a canopy because uh, canopies make such a huge difference in inclement weather when you are you know, in, in the middle of a snowstorm or in the middle of the rain in the summer or something and you just wanna you know, get out of your car, get plugged in and get on the road again, not having a canopy is just not enjoyable. <laughs> Thanks for going on this adventure with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Quick bonus clip here. Uh, the supercharger in Hilliard, Ohio, full. The Shell recharge station, completely empty. There's a little bit of construction. It's kind of hard to get to one of the stalls, but hey, if you need a uh, sub 50 kilowatt power, it's only 30 cents a kilowatt hour.